He gets the sector's key for the state of sector for two damage it goes for sector. The most tease a potential comeback for the League All Star. Ooh, I'm excited. I hope they got have more two damage, maybe, hopefully. We might have gotten a ton of KDA content over the past month, but fans could be seeing the return of League of Legends virtual music group True Damage this December. Ooh, I'm excited. I love True Damage. It didn't get like the recognition, but a lot of people know it, and I really like True Damage sound. So, there was the voice actor for True Damage Echoes. Echo said that today he'll be taking part of the collab with Raya on Sunday, December 12th using the hashtag Echo Gang and All Star 2020. As a result, many people are speculating that True Damage could be returning as an upcoming event. So it's here, Thomas. Dutmas, Dutmas. 12 11 May Mary music video, 12 12 with the League of Legends gang, Echo Gang, and all that. 1218 collab with SBN and an NCAA basketball. Stay tuned with the Beetle Gang. The last we the last time we saw Tree Jam was 2019 World Worldship when the group performed at the tournament and opening ceremony in Paris. Riot also looked in the collaboration with Louis Vuitton created limited limited edition of the themed skins for Tree Jam's cosmetic lines. It's unknown that Dumbass 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 will join the Ki Kiki Palmer's Suyun, Becky G, and Duck Ruth. The recording arts linked to the other champions with the skin mind for this upcoming collab. He also didn't mention the tree damage in his tweet, which also could mean he might be the only one showing up to write and yet to officially announce confirm or did true damage. So like maybe a solo? Interesting. Many League League fans will be excited to see true damage and in some for the compatibility through especially after the the perf the performance of KDA throughout the past world world championship fans will be wondering when they see another music group take center stage in a few days, they might get their wish. Hopefully, I really do hope that they have them in the game. So, and also, I hope they use like DJ Sona because I just listened to her music and it's like really good. And hopefully, they make like more for DJ Sona because they can use her for like them for like the future since they have DJ Yosu. Yasu, that'd be really cool. So. Just a thought for that since DJ Sona is still there and she has like great music. So, so Raya announces measures to combat in international griefing and the relations to illegal Chinese gambling websites. Hmm, that's interesting. On December 14, Riot Korea announced that they taken strong consider considered measures to combat against the international griefing on wine trading in relation to illegal gambling sites to make a profit on for pro game pro player pro players streamers solo queue matches and the issue arose when pro players in the L C K and in the O M P L L P L face hardship and winning our solo queue matches because of the Afro national if issues. First of all, the accounts on the KR servers that were suspected to be being Ill used illegally were suspected to be were suspect used illegally overseas were deactivated on the 8th and hotlines were established between Riot and, and the LCK team on the 9th. This meant that all LCK teams are now able to directly report all the players suspected to wind when trading for illegal gambling websites. In Riot Korea, Riot Korea also announced that that as a, that December 14th real time solution has been implemented to block all unauthorized third party program, making Riot's Korea say that when trading in illegal gambling and solo queue matches are unacceptable in a circumstances, we make sure to do 
as all to prevent such actions. So this is the following translation is Riot's Korea announcement of their official website. Dear summoners, we confirm that the number of players overseas have been involved with illegal Chinese esport gambling websites to directly influence win or lose LCK pros. They legally use Korea accounts in the process as we at Riot Games consider this situation to be very severe and have been taken to the following countermeasure to prevent such from happening. Deactivate from all account suspicions overseas left finished on December 8th. We expect to about 10,000 accounts are similar to MMR as LCK pros. That is a lot. D2 narrow down to all accounts that are in suspicion of being legally used overseas and deactivate them on December 8th. Real time restriction solution on authorized third party program implemented on December 4th in order for and when trading players to play rank matches from overseas they need to play with the high ping overseas players access with KR Korean China Korea server via VPN use unorthodized third party programs to reduce their pain. Riot Games have implemented a real time solution to the de de um deleting these app for me mission third party programs in the complex with our terms of service the related policies of players that have been deactivated by our real time solutions will will have their account suspended and will be locked out for the whole process and take three minutes out to the game and starts the player sinking as such as overseas players will be able to remake the game the established of the hotline between Riot and Korea and the LCK team established on December 9th. The hotline was created for all LCK team to report all members players that are suspicious of win trading. If the team win trading for legal gambling purposes, they can now directly request Riot Korea to monitor such players and this hotline was created to solo purposes to prevent when training for illegal gambling let's say so behavioral actions such as verbal abuse will still need to be reported via in-game report system for this dis disciplinary action international feeding was illegal gambling and rank matches unable to under any circumstances we have right games will do everything in their power to Indicate such a action in taking place. And that's it. So, all these comments here. So, this is an interesting opinion that taking strong um, countermeasures to combat against international grief, grieving. I mean, they have to do something because if it's interfering with the people who are playing online and they're using it illegally as well, which is I don't know how they're doing. Don't um china has like they have like biggest legal legends as well i think they're the second i think they're the first and korea is the second so i'm not sure if they're why they're doing it maybe they want to play in korea but they can't do it because it's only over there so maybe that's why so mm -mm. but hopefully that they'll get the situation sorted out so hope you guys Enjoy, and I'll be doing another one that's going to come up soon, and so let's get to the next one. So I saw this one, and I know it says Kotaku, I know, but still, I saw this says Ray casually announces League of Legends MMO game. Which is very interesting, because they just announced that they're going to look a long time ago, that they are going to make a fighting game, which I should check out to see if there, there are any updates, but I haven't seen anything yet, so... League of Legends fans who like to enjoy the universe but not keep playing the same go game over and over again until you die. You're in luck, right? Just announced a new MMO set in the game universe in most the casual way, in most casual way imaginable. Ooh, I'm actually really interested. So, okay, I want nothing new for the first time. Okay. In this tweet exchange. Ugh. No. Yeah, yeah, shh. That scared me how you when it does this. In this tweet exchange, Ripe, Ripe, Ripe VP 
Greg Street starts off as talking about how the game previously has been helping to develop the League of Legends universe and how this new job to, is to kick off a big, some might say, massive game that many of you, my many writers, have been asking us to create. That's pretty much says it's already, but in the streets, clarify just to be sure. Greg Street, I have news my recent job at Riot has been helped develop in League Universe league universe which is going to be which we're going to need help because in time my new job to kick off a big oh this is the same thing and says ps we're hiring tell me now is it an mmo will be playing to pick my waifu clothes and hairstyles and rice greg says it is an mmo which is true get to pick all their outfits their hairstyles or even create new characters Although, I'm not sure you'll be able to do that though. No teasers, trailers, no expensive cinematic videos, no content art, no pre-release, no pre-release, just a tweet with the bare details imaginable. That's a wild way to announce a game that could be huge given the popularity of the League universe, but then it's also why very right, whose last round of the game announcements were basically a bunch of shrugs and and an added nation that yeah they were working on some stuff this is not the part where i tell you that some of the finer details contained in the game releases but since we don't have that i can i can just leave it to you imagine the league universe only like wow and only like wow and take it from there and that's it because we have like nothing available so i'm really excited to see since they're like I wonder how many players are working on like the final game they're gone now with MMO, which is like very interesting. So I'm very excited to see that. So hope you guys join too. Like, kind of subscribe, my videos like these, and see you guys next time. Bye,